Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. When you print something out from 2020 and you look down here at the title block, you'll notice that there's verbiage on the left, there's a logo, verbiage to the right. How can I change what's written in the boxes? That is actually easier than ever. You can even download an app that will help you do this easily. At the top of the screen is a feature called Help. If we click on Knowledge Center, I will type in title block, and then I will click on our little search button. The very first search is going to be how to change title block and logo. It will give me directions on exactly what to do. And if you look at the top, it says click here to download the app. Download the app. See where it says 2020 title block editor? That's what we'll download. If I double click on that, it's actually going to give you options for changing the logo and changing the title block. If you click change logo, we can go ahead and click on here and it says make sure that your logo is a bitmap and is 200 by 200 pixels. If I click OK, it'll take me to the next screen and I can click on a logo from my computer where I can actually load that in. If you need to modify a logo, open with paint, and that will open up Paint, which is a software on your, on your computer, and allow you to take your logo and modify the dimensions of the logo to be 200 by 200. You would simply do that by going to Paint. It shows the 2020 logo. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to Open. Here's a logo that I just brought in. If I click Resize, I now have the ability to resize by clicking on Pixels to the exact pixel size that I need. Your logo needs to be a square. You may want to go in and simply say crop and cut a square out of your logo and use that instead. So make sure that your logos are bitmaps and make sure that they are square. Now, title block text. See where it says drawing layout, text area to the left, text area to the right. If I go to text area right, here's the, here's the information that's there. You can highlight this and delete it. You can go in there and make changes. I can say this is the property of John Morgan. And then I can go through, and you can't type more than 40 characters per line, but I can go through and I can modify all that. And then when I go in now, if I just leave this as is, I have this saved. If I go into um, one of my drawings, you'll notice that the title block at the bottom will start off with this is the property of John Morgan. 